How does the Gibbs energy of a system depend on temperature and pressure? So we start from the equation for the change of U. Heat or work may change the internal energy of a system. Therefore, du equals dq plus dw. Because u is a state function, we can imagine a reversible process in which u is changed to u plus du. Therefore, du equals dq reversible plus dw reversible in this reversible process. And uh, dq reversible equals TDS. Uh, given the definition of entropy. The definition of entropy is indirect. It's ds equals dq reversible over t. dw equals negative p external dv. So it's negative external pressure times dv. In a reversible process, p external equals p. Therefore, dw reversible equals negative p dv. H is equal to u plus pv. Therefore, dH is equal to TDS plus VTP using calculus. G, the Gibbs free energy, is defined to be H minus TS. Again, uh, using some calculus, we have dG equals negative SDT plus VTP. So now we know how G depends on temperature. The dependence is negative S. And we know how G depends on pressure. The dependence is the volume of the system. But we also need to make sure that when we say dg over dt equals negative s over here, this is correct only if p is held constant. We can also say dg over dp equals v only if temperature is constant. Therefore, we are using the notation for partial derivatives to emphasize that in here, pressure is held constant, and here temperature is held constant. And we know entropy is always greater than zero, therefore when temperature increases, G always decreases under constant pressure condition. Volume is always positive, therefore uh, G always increases when P decreases, I'm sorry, G always increases as P increases as long as temperature is a uh, constant. So more quantitatively, how does the Gibbs energy change from uh, the standard pressure one bar to any pressure P at constant temperature condition? Delta G is the change of G from one bar to the final pressure P. Therefore, we just need to integrate this dG. And since temperature is constant, we know uh, dG equals VTP. So we plug in this VTP here, and this tells you how much Gibbs energy changes when the pressure changes from the standard one bar to the final pressure P. For an ideal gas at a constant temperature, this is very easy because volume equals nRT over P. For an ideal gas, and then we simply just need to integrate this, and we get the change of the Gibbs energy is equal to nRT times the natural logarithm of P over one bar. For liquids and solids at a constant temperature, again, the temperature is constant, therefore delta G is simply the integral of VDP. So we put it here, and for solids and liquids, volume does not change significantly with pressure. So approximately the volume of a liquid or solid is a constant here. Therefore, the change of Gibbs energy is the volume times the final pressure minus the initial one bar pressure.